Hello, YouTube, and welcome back to Brewing with Magic. Do you like decks that can just absolutely destroy aggro decks, but still have an amazing game plan against control deck, and you actually have a high win percentage against those control decks? Then you're really going to enjoy my Flash control deck. But before I get into that, I do want to remind you, when we hit 500 subscribers, we're going to be doing something really fun and special. So please check the description down below to find out exactly what I'm talking about. So please rate, review, and subscribe to the channel. If you're already a subscriber, thank you very much. Please check down below. Go to our Twitter, become one of our subscribers, and share this video with someone to help us build the Brew Crew family. So, why don't we get into today's deck. Flash Control. I was trying to build all kinds of fun mid-rangey decks and stuff like that, but with the current meta, everybody's extremely fast or extremely controlly. So, <clears throat> I had to come back to a deck that can handle both of those. So, what do we got going on in this Flash Control deck? First, you gotta have a little bit of removal. So, we do have four Heartless Axe which is going to kill, you know, your opponent's man lands if they're control deck. Of course, you're going to have to hit that Crawling Barons pretty quick or it's going to get out of control. And then we've got one Erebos Intervention because there are Indestructibles out there that you sometimes have to be able to handle or you just need to gain life against those fast decks or you got to get rid of their graveyard. Super versatile card. I love it. One of. And then, so in between our removal package and our disruption package is four Drown in the Locks because it is both. So right away in the early game, it's not going to do much, but you are a control deck. You're getting rid of all the cards in their, um, on their board. You're countering all this stuff so often. Their graveyard's going to fill up. And then late game, this card is an absolute monster. I, I, just, I think this card is way overpowered. Then we have our, our Disruption Package. So we have four Essence Scatters. Uh, originally, I had some Neutralizes in here too. They all slowly became Essence Scatters because I finally came to the realization that there's way more creature decks out there. But if you go up against a, a Yorion deck and they go ahead and they Ultimatum you, then you're going to just hold up. You know, If they if they go Vorinclex, you, you let them have that Vorinclex and you counter it. They don't go onto the board for free. They still are casting them. They're casting them for zero mana. So you can still counter all that stuff. So you let the ultimatum go off and you handle the, the all the cards with the with the counter spells if you have to. Or just counter spell the actual, you know, ultimatum if need be. Then we have four Girardi's Disruption. Doing double duty over here is land as well. Four neutralizes and four sock cummings. So we have got quite a lot of disruption. So once we've got the board stabilized early game, we really just don't want to let them do much after that. Then we have three copies of Extinction Event because you need a way to catch up and hit that reset button at times. So do make sure your Heartless Axe, your Drown Locks, your Erebos Interventions, stuff like that, maybe even your Essence Scatters, are countering the creatures that are going to be the lesser of Otter even that they have so that you set up a really big Extinction Event. Then we have our, our game winners, if you will. This, this is the package that really is important to the deck. This is the build around. So we have three Voracious Great Sharks, an amazing 5-4 body for 5 that counters a artifact or creature when it gets onto the board. So this is actually part of the counter spell package that also cl closes out games for us. A nice four-turn clock. We have two Zara San the Trickster. This is the whole reason I actually built the deck. I was like, this creature is absolutely amazing, but everybody wants to play it as a, a member of a rogue package. But why? Why not in a control deck? At the end of that, you're already controlling their whole board. You're keeping it clear for the most part. If they have one creature out, you flash this in at the end. You kill that creature. You get in, and you start winning the game with their stuff. So it's it's really fun. You got to draw. I, I did it a lot, and I absolutely love the card. And then we have one Lock Mirror Serpent. So it is a flash creature like the rest of our creatures. It's kind of, you know, it's, it's a draw-go deck. So this is in there as our rogue plan. In case they mill us too much, they hit this. We get this. It, it doesn't get rid of cards from our graveyard per se, but hey, it, it, it's a card that we can obtain much quicker if it gets milled into our graveyard. And that's why that's in there. And then we have ways to refill our hand. We have four Graven Lores. I think this is an absolute amazing draw spell, especially in this deck because of the fact that you get to scry so much and then draw. You really just set everything up. So once your opponent is running out of gas, you refill your hand and it's with the things that you need, not just random. And then of course, we're gonna have three Seagate Restorations in the deck because it draws so many cards and then you have no maximum hand size and your opponent is just in a world of hurt when you have all the answers there are. And that also obviously does double duty as land. So our land package is actually with the Girardis and the Seagate Restorations. 26 lands in the deck. You should never be getting mana hosed. And uh, it's a pretty simple package. It's eight snow-covered islands, three snow-covered swamps, four of the pathways on color, four of the temples on color, and then the Girardis and the Seagates that you already knew about. So the deck is super consistent 
and it is a blast to play. Your opponents really can't do anything once you get the ball rolling. So without further ado, why don't I go ahead now and show you what I got up to with this deck. Speedy. What up, Speedy? We go first. We got three lands. Essence Scattered, Jordy, Heartless Set, and Extinction Event. This looks a promising. Let's go ahead and lead out with a blue. Ooh, they missed a creature on turn one, so are they is it then? Or are they mono red? Conspiracy theorists. I think we go ahead and we draw these. Ooh. Um, I have Essence Scatter and Heartless Act, so let's throw the temple. Uh, I, I have I gotta keep let's 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 move along. We have counter spells. And the turn. Third land for the opponent. Annex. Annex. Let's go ahead and just counter that. Nice. Let's throw the blue out. Oh, actually, I think I just want to throw that in a foretell. And the turn. Uh-oh. We're getting nice spammed. We're getting nice spammed. Phoenix of Ash. Resolves. Our opponent is in love with us. Let's go ahead and mute. Bergie, eh? Let's have some scatter that. Hopefully, okay, yeah, now there's, there's a win con. There we go. That's what we've been looking for. Forbidden friendship. I actually can't counter that. That's funny. I mean, I can. Uh, I guess I'll just extinction event. Ne okay, it's another land. Let's throw that. Essence scatter is fine. They have five in their graveyard, so they can throw that next and turn. I'm just going to take two more. It's mono red. I can afford to take a few hits. Okay, that we're definitely going to have to counter. <laughs> Raid Bombardment. Come on. Yep. Take two. Could you throw a creature already? Essence scatters the play. Next. Um. Actually, let's let's get rid of these because I still have the Extinction Event. Let's go on even. So maybe they'll stop trying to throw other stuff for a minute. Throw that Phoenix of Ash. That's Essence Scatter that. Nope. We got land. Let's see what's coming up next. Girardi's disruption is no good. I mean, it probably would have been next and turn. Be nice if our opponent would freaking. There we go. Let's do it. Cast the great shark. I need a draw card. I need to draw. That's not gonna do it. Let's get in there. Boom. And the turn. Uh oh. They have a lot of cards and we don't. Because I never hit a single draw card. I need a Seagate Restoration or something like that. Storm's Wrath. What are we playing against here? Ooh, Graven Lore. You go out on blue. End the turn. Fervent Champion. That resolves. Rimrock Knight. Let's go ahead and Graven Lore with Snow. See if I can't get a way to remove that. Drown in the lock gets rid of it. That gets rid of it. I want to. I want all of this. Let's go ahead and drown in the lock and destroy this. Because by destroying that, it kills the Rimrock Knight also. Boom. You lose the knight. Fortell. What? Take our turn. Let's take a turn off. We are Seagating. I need to draw some cards. Throw out the land. End the turn. And we have a Zenith Sun the Zareth Sun the Trickster now. So if they throw a land or a creature, I think I gotta let it live for this. Yes. So one, two, three, four, five, one, one, two, three. So I could still kill it next turn. So let that live. Yeah. 
I want to keep the counter spell. Girardi's disruption is not actually that bad right now. Let's go ahead and do this for minus X for one, two, three, pay three, kill that, auto pay. Get that out of here. They can bring it back out. We can just keep playing games with them. Next, end the turn. I don't think they can kill this at instant speed. But they can at sorcery speed. We saw that. So let's go ahead and hit resolve. Pass. Pass, pass. Take, take three damage. Oh, no, I didn't do the thing! Oh, I did it wrong! Dang it, I messed up there. I, I, I meant to throw the... Hmm. Okay, we still got this game. We still got this game. I clicked, I misclicked. But we still got this. So that comes in. Let's go ahead and drown in the lock, the phoenix. Let's... Saw it coming. The Ember Cleave. And that's all she wrote. Even with a misclick. Got it. Huzzah! Let's see what you're up to. Opponent goes first. Yeah, I'm used to that. Oh, we'll keep this. We got four land if you count the Girardi's Disruptions. We'll use one as land on turn one. Saw it coming. Graven Lore. So we got counter spells. We got removal. We got... Another Girardi, so this is definitely a land. <laughs> Mono Blues. They foretell. Let's go Swamp. And the turn holding up the Girardis. I wanted to put this in a foretell, but... Bah. Oh, it's is it? Okay. Behold the multiverse. I'm gonna... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can't counter that with Girardi's. So... I'll let them have it, unfortunately. They main phased it, so that's good for us, I guess. <laughs> both at the top, and they kept them both. I need to be able to start counterspelling this next turn. So I gotta put this out on blue and end the turn. Then we can start putting these down slowly as the game progresses. Maybe that's another Behold, who knows. Maybe it's a Sock coming. There we go. I think I do this this turn. And that way next turn I can Vicious Great Shark. Right now I'm holding up a Girardi, or I mean I'm holding up the Sock coming. Okay, they're out, I can't do, I can't counter that. Dragons. All the foretell cards. Let's throw this out. Next. End the turn. Draw go. Zuza. What do you got, Zuza? They're going with another Magnus Opus. So that's going to give them four, five, six, seven. If they hit a land, they missed land last turn. Behold the multiverse. Let them have their draw cards. We'll count it. I mean, they're going to eventually draw into their good cards anyways. So I don't want to counter their draw cards. I want to counter their win cards. Like their experimental overload that I'm sure they're going to try to get to. Uh, I think I need more land. So let's, I mean, they could counter this. That's fine. There it is. That's the counter spell because they're thinking about it. Should I use my counter spell? Yes. I mean, I wanted them to. I have a full grip, so. Cool. Temple. We're going to draw into land anyways, and we have a lot of it, so let's pass that and the turn. <coughs> Excuse me. They've got a full grip. We've got a full grip. Everybody's got grips. The 
His tokens are not bad. So, if I Great Shark, they're going to counter it. If I Essence Scatter it, I can counter another creature this turn. Let's not do the Voracious Great Shark yet. Okay. They still have five mana. Maybe they'll try to pop a dragon? I would love it. Another one, huh? They still have two mana over here. Let's go ahead and... Saw it coming. Draw is a land. Next. End turn. So we have seven land now. So now I can throw the Gr Gracious Great Shark. And Girardi's... <laughs> They didn't have a counter spell yet, so let's go ahead and throw the braces. Great shark. Boom. It worked. It's on the board, so that's getting countered. Let me untap. <laughs> Gold span dragon. That's fine. Oh, are they tapped out? Oh, Girardi's. Ah, yes! Yes! Oh, we have a removal and a counter spell. Let's get there. Get some. Let's go, boys and girls. Land. So, I'll let that land. And then we'll heartless or, or yeah, heartless act it now. We're almost in top deck war mode. Ooh, nice. Let's get in for five. Oh, they're down to ten. Pretty much let them do anything that doesn't disrupt the rest of our game plan. Land was a horrible drop for our opponent. Take our turn. Oh, Seagate. Let's get in. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need one more land before I'm going to Seagate. If I even need to, I think this game's over. But I, I, I want to keep counter magic up. I think that's, I think that's all she wrote. That's a wrap. I don't think they can get around. Yeah, I can counter two cards. They have two cards. Good game. That's it. Nope. Nope. Good game. <laughs> The bio. Let's get it. We go first with three lands, two heartless acts, four, three lands with the Seagate. Essence scatter of right. Yeah, this is good. We'll lead with the temple. It's extinction event. Shoot. Might need it, even though I want land. Oh, I wanted land. Well, now I'm glad I kept it. Ouch. Let's go ahead and put the black source out. Pass turn back. They'll go rob of the rich. Oh, we're taking one. That's just happening. So they're holding up a Bone Crusher Stomp? What are you? Well, damage deals not combat damage to an opponent. Uh, I'll kill that with the Heartless Act. Saving the Essence Scatter for an Annex. Because otherwise Annex gets um, more tokens. So let's go ahead and throw this out. Tapped. Next. And turn. They're not going to do anything crazy that I need to neutralize for this turn. But Essence Scatter does shut them down. There's the Annex. And that is why I saved... The Essence Scatter. Let's see if we can play Magic and get land. Woo! We got a little bit. We got a little bit. So I've got Heartless Extinction and Neutralize. End the turn. If they throw an odd creature here, like another Annex, then we'll just take the damage. Because we can Extinction Event. It's a two-drop. So, we'll just Heartless Act that. That was the end of their turn, right? Yeah, Heartless Act that. 
Land, off the top. Land, land, land. Untap land. You just gotta yell at it. And the turn. Show me your tour brand. <laughs> this game is... <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh. Hey, Seagate Restoration. Let's hold up on that. Let's get in for five. Boom! Speed this clock up. End the turn. We got Extinction Event. We can't really be using on odds right now. Have to be evens. Frostbite. Okay. So they are having they're in trouble, so let's counter that. They're using all their cards right now to try to kill our great shark. If they have one more card to kill it, then we just it took them three cards to kill the great I'll take it. I'll take it. One, two, three, four, five. Nah, can't do it yet. Pass the turn. Robber of the rich. This is odd. This is even. Neutralize. Boom. We take some. There we go. Graven lore is an amazing draw for us. <laughs> Refills our hand. Oh no, uh, I can't stop that this turn, so yeah, we take two. Nice, I gotta kill this creature. Yeah, Raid Bombardment's coming in. Let's go ahead and stay out of cards. Let's pay with snow. A land, a land, a drown in the lock. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five. This will be six, seven. That guarantees me all my lands. Plus, I'll draw another card in a second. Let's ditch one land. Ditch one land. We'll get there. <laughs> Let's throw the snow-covered island next, and the turn. Torbrand! Huh. So this is going to do a lot more damage if I let that Torbrand hit. They're almost out of cards. Maybe I kill this and extinction event that? Eh. Eh. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. Torbrand's down. Girardi's. Let's go ahead and put you out on blue. Let's extinction on even. And pass it back. What'd you get? A raid bombardment. Okay. Okay, let's Seagate Restoration. Let's throw out the temple. And let we don't need any more land. <clears throat> and our opponent gets a free turn. Annex is bad. And the turn. Oh, I didn't even throw a land in. I, yeah. Okay, so we... Voracious Great Shark. Boom. Kill that. No blocks. And there's another Seagate, eh? Uh, throw it. Ooh, there we go. There's that removal I needed. Unfortunately, it's not going to be removal for this turn. I can Essence Scatter next. All attack. Let's get in. Take him down to 10. And the turn. Fireblade Charger is another odd. That is amazing. I'll take that. Yep. Okay. So, we'll put... You out on blue. We're gonna... 
Extinction on odd. I don't even want to attack because then they're going to get that damage. Let's throw out nothing. End the turn. And just hold up all these essence scatters. Saw it comings. I've got a graven lore. I've got a drown in a lock. Nice. Let's graven lore. Pay with snow. Uh, no on the extinction of. Mm, no, they're never. Yeah, I was going to say. You, you're done. <laughs> Good game. Woo! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for Flash Control. Well, that's going to do it for you. I'm taking it right back out after this because it's actually doing really well in the current meta. So there are a few changes. The, the current meta is still so, so fast, and there are rogues out there, but the Lockmere Serpent just isn't doing it for me. And I like the deck topping out at five mana. So it, it, this is a little expensive for the deck, in my opinion. Even though we have tons of land, we use the Girardis and the Seagates quite often as actual spells. So I'm going to drop one of those. And then as much as I love all of these counter spells, I do want to drop one Neutralize. And what am I adding in for that? Well, we can't drop one of our very, very few win cons that we have and not add a win con in. And Voracious, Voracious Great Shark is such a good card and it still fits in with our counter spell package. Then I'm going to add one more of those in. And then you can already see, I, I feel like the deck just needed a little more removal one more piece just to keep you in there and that's where the Erebos interventions come in because not only does it kill creatures it gives you life gets around indestructibility and has a second mode in case you just need to get rid of their graveyard and a reason i bring that up also is because the only time i really had a hard time on the ladder was when i'd go up against cycling and there is a lot of cycling out there at the moment it's it's come back around and uh you know i even recorded cycling you'll see it here coming out i believe um It'll have come out a few days ago by the time you see this video, but this is really going to help with that matchup. If you're getting a whole lot of cycling, you might replace one of these extinction events with Shadow's Verdict because it also hits the graveyard. But I think that this is exactly the way I'm going to be running the package here in about five more minutes because I am taking it right back out. It is a blast to play. So I hope you enjoyed it too. So please rate, review, and subscribe to the channel. If you're not a subscriber, check the description down below to find out exactly why you should become one because you can win some prizes. If you are a subscriber, thank you very much. You mean a whole lot to us. And would you please Please go subscribe to our Twitter as well as share this video on your Twitter. So thank you very much to our Patreon. And as always, until next time, have a blast in the arena.